What's up guys, this is Mia Sin, I was gonna say DB Grinder, back at it with another DB video, even though I haven't made one in like a year. But yeah, this is going to be a really interesting match, so we have, oh my god, Snake Eye Sky Striker against Salamangrate. Let's get right into it, as soon as you smash the like and subscribe button, there you go, my man. But yeah, Jibriel is gonna be winning the dice roll, huge uh, legend by the way, so massive shoutouts to you. And he's gonna be going first with a hand of Populous, uh, Widow Anchor, Call by the Grave, Wanted and Talent, very good hand. Against another very good hand, so Salamangrid of Fire, Fire Recovery, okay. Flame Buffer Low, Drill and Logbird, and Salamangrid Spidey. So as soon as he's going to be getting that search with the Populous, I assume the Drill and Logbird will be getting uh, used here. And uh, this is what happens, so let's see. Okay, yeah, he will be using Cow by the Grave and Talon to look at the hand. Remove the Flame Buffer Low. Yeah, this is really big. And then you can combo off, basically, with one uh, a one-card combo. And this is probably not going to be doing that much because Populous is not that great. Surge Jet, Syn Jet Synchron, that's actually not too bad because now you can discard it with the Diabell Star and still revive it back. So it's it's kind of cool and he still has uh, Oak Access. But I don't know if this is necessarily uh, relevant. So yeah, revive back the Jet Synchron. I don't think he wants to go for a Farmerless Synchron now. Uh, he might go into a Borrowed Savage Dragon in order to have a, a, a negate because now he can use Jet Synchron's Graveyard Effect and then still go into... Uh, well, maybe not a Link Creep, but okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, th this is so free, actually. Borlo Savage Dragon, really nice synergy with uh, uh, the uh, Snake Eye Monsters because you place back a card that you can send right away, and it still keeps its counter. The the, the Negate has nothing to do with the monster that is uh, in your Spell and Trap zone after you equip it, only at activation. Anyways, revive back the Jet Synchron using its effect, and then Flamberge, revive back two monsters. Two Flamberge, inter interesting. And then Synchro into a Formula Synchron, draw one card. Oh my god, that's an Engage. Ah, uh, with two cards in the uh, in grave, okay. And that's going to be going into... Oh, I was going to say Baron de Fleur, okay, yeah. That, I mean, that's much better. IP, Flamberge into the Formula Synchron, and then you can Synchro Summon the Baron de Fleur on the opponent's turn. Widow Anchor is completely useless, for obvious reasons. And then draw Phaser Standby, revive back the, uh, well, Summon the Formula Synchron. And then Normal Summon the Buffer Lobe. And then right away, he's going to be going into the Baron de Fleur, revive back two monsters, get... Oh my god, okay. A search and either a Monster Reborn or a Recycle Back, which is really insane. And yes, Ash can search Ash. This is not illegal. Populous can also search for the uh, one for one spell card. And now we can go IP into SP, banish that buffer low. And this should be game, even though you can still trigger the effect to draw cards. It's not going to be doing anything because without a body on board, the Salamangrid deck just doesn't play the game whatsoever. So yeah, this is going to be game one, and now Salamangrid will be going first in game two. Let's see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, okay, another very good hand. Salamangrid, Fire, Ash, Jaguar, Foxy, Salamangrid, Circle. Against Widow Anchor, Diabell Star, Shark Cannon, Thrust, and Diabell Star again. So it's uh, really nice to see an actual big Sky Striker engine. It's not just like, okay, Engage and Hornet, and that's it. No, no, no. Jibriel is always um, here with the Spice. But yeah, draw face, search for the Gazelle. This, by the way, should be one of those combos where you can play through a, uh, a Nibiru. But, I mean, not in a good way. That actually, I don't even think you can. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is kind of shitty, honestly. Yeah. I mean, you can probably do things with the Foxy, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's just gonna go normal summon the, uh... Sorry, what is it gonna be? The Jaguar? Wait. Hold on a second. Yeah, okay, and then Link into V-Lynx. Interesting, I would have summoned Foxy, so I can discard the, the Jaguar and just have, like, one extra body, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, foolish for the spinny, and then revive back, go into a Mirage Stalio, and then detach the summon Salamander, go to fire from deck. Okay, I guess that makes sense, and then search for the Weasel, that is a special summon in the hand, and in the graveyard. But yeah, link off into the Weasel, and then get the recycle back of the Weasel, uh, Sunlight Wolf for the Gazelle, and then link off into Veilinx, and this is gonna be very interesting. So, Weasel Effect, put back itself on the bottom of the deck, and then draw one card and summon the Fire into the opponent's field, and then link off the Mirage Talio with the Sunlight Wolf for another Sunlight Wolf, and then Mirage Talio bounces back this uh, Salmon Grave Fire. So, he can get a follow up for next turn very easily with that. A very good follow up, but he already had the Salmon Grave Fire, so this is kind of irrelevant. Uh, another reason why I would have went for the Foxy route instead of Jaguar, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, now he's gonna be linking into, okay, no, Jag Jaguar first, and then into Promethean Princess, most likely. Obviously, recycle back the circle with a Sunlight Wolf, might as well, because he can go into a Raging Phoenix very easily. Uh, Promethean Princess, revive back the Sunlight Wolf, and then link off into a Raging Phoenix. By the way, just want to mention that this combo can easily make a lot of interruptions post-Phantom Nightmare. Using Sprite Sprint with the Salamander of Fire, sending EMP Grim Yaud, 
And you can, uh, you uh, with, with the Sprite Sprint, obviously, since you have an Xyz monster, you can also bounce back something your opponent controls uh, when he summons like, a monster. So it's a lot of interruptions that the Salaman Grid deck can do. I've made a video on that uh, a few weeks or months ago. So, But yeah, I'll definitely be uh, updating it. Uh, but yeah, he's passing turn on Roar and Ash as interruptions and Promethean Princess. That's it, that's all. It's not that great. He really had like a big Salaman Grid hand, which is not really good in Salaman Grid, actually. Shark Cannon is useful against the Promethean Princess. The Widow Anchor is useless and uh, one extra Diabell Star is a little too much. Duster is actually extremely good here. It forces out the Roar, so that's one interruption down. And then the Shark Cannon... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, that does play a little bit into... Okay, I mean, he, he's ashing that anyways. Oh my god, this is insane. And then he gets the engage with the thrust. Oh my god, this is gonna be three spells in grave. This is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, okay. So yeah, surge the drones. Is there something? I mean, why is he not using the shark cannon though? And he's also drawing into a thrust, which is not really good. And now he's gonna be going to Hornet. Why are you not banishing the princess? Is there something I'm missing? Because now banishing it would be insane. But now you can just go, okay, effect, destroy the token. You can't even chain your shark cannon and you lose the game. So uh, maybe there was something I'm missing. But yeah, I definitely would have used the shark cannon to banish the princess, but whatever. Uh, game three, though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, Salaman Grid is a, is a hand shop deck that features Salaman Grid cards. I keep forgetting the small little detail. So yeah, uh, double Imperm, Droll, DD Crow, Nibiru against Karma Cannon, Field Spell, Diabell Star. Shark Cannon again, Jet Synchron. Very interesting deck. Like, very, very interesting. Because other than Diabell Star, a lot of these cards are kind of kind of clunky, honestly. But anyways, Normal Summon, Jet Synchron, Link into Link Rebo. And then Diabell Star discard the Link Rebo. Actually, okay. Uh, set the original Sinful Spell Snake Eye. Jet Synchron revive by pitching the Shark Cannon. Completely useless, honestly. And then Link off into Borlold Savage Dragon, get back the Link Rebo. That's actually such a cool play. I am a big fan. DD Crew, on the other hand, can be... I mean, he can just use Imperm at this point. And he's not using Imperm. Yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, whatever. I mean, if he's DD Crowing here, the uh, Borlo Savage Dragon will also not be getting uh, a negate because it has to equip a Link Monster from her graveyard. And if you do that, place where Borlo Counters, etc. So yeah, in other words, it doesn't do jack shit. Uh, but yeah, now he's uh, gonna be placing the, uh, uh, the Ash off of the Field Spell. And he still has original Sinful Spell Snake Eyes, so at least he can keep playing the game. But yeah, Special Summon the Oak, and then revive back the Ash. Okay, that is going to be met with a uh, Imperm. Okay, you know what? It's actually very interesting that he used the DD Crew on the Link Rebo, and not the Imperm on the Savage, because now he can't chain the Link Rebo in order to dodge Imperm. So that was very well played by the Salaman Grid player, actually. Yeah, very well placed uh, DD Crew. Anyways, he, he can keep playing because the deck has gas for days. Link summon into Dark Charmer. And oh my god, this is disrespectful. <laughs> he can go into a uh, Promethean Princess now. So, uh, or not. Yeah, Nibiru. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Summon a token and that is going to... Wait, oh, the token is usually the end board of the Salamangrid player. Okay, rules have been reversed. Anyways, Karma Cannon is uh, very good. So he's going to pass on that. Normal summon the Buffalo. And there we go. Enjoy having fun. Flip the Nibiru attack, set one pass. Yeah, okay. And then uh, in top deck mode, the Snake Eye deck is extremely good because of graveyard effects. Uh, so original Sinful Spell Snake Eye's graveyard effect and Wanted. You can be having like no cards in your hand, no cards in your field. There's just so many cards that get you back into the game very easily. And the Divine Temple of the Snake Eye is also a very interesting card at playing on your own turn and on your opponent's turn. You can revive back the monsters in your spell and trap zone. But this is going to be irrelevant because the Nibiru was used when you had nothing. But yeah, anyways, the original Sinful Spell Snake Eye will be uh, putting back the Oak and Search Ash. That should be how it goes. Yeah, okay, because it's Search and then put back, not the other way around. But he's going to be getting Joel, so who cares? Normal Summon and then get rid of the Field Spell, Summon the Flamberge. Very interesting how he didn't preemptively use the effect of Imperm because Ash does have to send for cost. Things would have been completely different, actually, if he impermed the Ash on the summon. So I do disagree with not doing that, because now, yeah, he's kind of in a good spot. Uh, he did manage to get that Flamberge, which can force out an impermanent away on the Nibiru. It's just not good. Oh, man, things would have been so different. Oh, that's rough, that's rough. 
But yeah, Flambridge can now revive back two monsters. Uh, okay, yeah, all right. I mean, there's no oak either. Oh, you know what? If he put back the ash instead of the oak, then it would have been even better here because he would have had the ability to revive back the Jet Synchron by reviving back an oak instead of the second ash. So yeah, that's another play that is maybe a little questionable, but it's not at the end of the world. So he can keep playing here, and I mean, it's, he's still going to win the game at the end. <laughs> it doesn't change that shit. So yeah, Diabelle start attack over, and then main phase 2, Hita, revive back a fire monster, go into an SP or Promethean Princess, and then you can go into an SP at the end of the day, so it doesn't really uh, change uh, jack shit. And yeah, banish that Nibiru and pass turn there. Not even. Okay, Promethean Princess. Revive back a Flamberge. And then put, what? Uh, okay, Hita. Very interesting. Why? Okay, and then link off into an Amblo Whale. Oh, I guess it makes sense because now if the Amblo Whale dies with a Promethean Princess, you can revive back nothing because uh, you cannot summon non-fires while you control Promethean Princess. So yeah, I mean, either way though, the Hita is irrelevant uh, on the field or in the grave because it only gets a search when it is destroyed by a, uh, uh, well, it was a Link Summon. But yeah, no, the, it's really unfortunate to see that the top deck is Rage because he, if he were to Imperm the Ash preemptively, uh, Jibriel would have been forced to go Diabell Star, discard the field spell, and then set the Wanted, which doesn't do anything because uh, he already had used one of the effect of original Sinful, Sinful Spell Snake Eye, so he can't get that. And then all you can really do is just a link to play, which is good, but not that great. I mean, in a way, though, he can still get to Flamberge, but it's not going to be doing much because he's going to have Flamberge alone. He can he would have been able to go into a Hita, revive back the Buffalo after jumping over it, and then go into Promethean Princess, revive back the Ash after it being negated before, and then send the Ash and the Promethean Princess. But again, it just doesn't really play uh, that much. But because of the fact that he top decked the Rage, it was more than enough for uh, for him to lose, which is, again, extremely unfortunate. All he really had to do was top deck Salaman, go to Fire, Gazelle, or uh, Circle, and this game would have been completely different because... Yeah, again, things were things were not looking that great for uh, for Jibriel if uh, if the play, like I said, if he were to Emperor him the Ash, but it's not uh, it's not too bad. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys very very soon. Peace.